everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for your feedback on my last video and I really want to create more content that is more helpful than anything else so today I'm gonna give you a tour of my desk slash workstation area this is pretty much where I do all my editing for my videos and my blog and I also do a lot of Ellen main work here as well I do have a laptop but I use it mainly on the couch or in the bed but the desktop is pretty much what I use to do the bulk of any heavy work that I have to do. It is a space that I love. It's a space that I enjoy going to throughout the day. I would find myself sometimes I'll sit there and I'll be there for hours just because I just I love working here. It is a very simple minimal setup and it's very me. I hope you enjoy the video. My desk is a ladder desk that we bought from EQ3. I believe it was maybe $200. The great thing about this is that if we ever move into a bigger space, we can always add on to it because it comes with extra pieces. We can add shelves, we can add another ladder. So it's really great and it's a very practical uh, piece of furniture that works really well for our setup. My chair, we actually bought four or five years ago from Kijiji for $40. So it was a great buy. It still looks great to this day. And it is one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat in. I have a faux fur rug here sitting on the chair. I keep it on the chair because I use it for a lot of my flat lays or any of my photos that would require a really nice, pretty, fluffy background. I just recycle my diptyque candle jars. I use it to house my second and basically I just keep the little plastic pot in there and I surround it with sand. I also have another plant here. This is the Weekly Times. I picked it up from CB2 a while back and it just works out really great. It's nice and clean and I just have it on one of these cool silver clipboards uh, just so it will stay standing and I can keep it there and I can see it whenever I'm about to sit at my desk. I can see what I have planned for the week. I also have this candle snuffer, which I bought on a whim from West Elm, but it's pretty, so I like to keep it up there. I think it just adds a little touch of personality to the area. And that's also what I was thinking too when I bought this really pretty blue floral box from HomeSense. And this was maybe $15 and it's just really great for housing any wires or cards or um, anything like that little trinkets pens and stuff like that that I don't necessarily want out but if I need something really quickly it'll be in that box I have these really cool pencils that I bought from cloth and paper and I will post the link to the website below. The owner of the company is this really awesome woman and her name is Ashley and she just has the most beautiful stationery. So if you guys are looking for really cool minimal stationery that you won't really find anywhere else, I would definitely recommend checking out cloth and paper. On the very top shelf of the desk, I have a really cool piece of art. I picked this up from Etsy. I don't remember the name of the store right now, but I'll be sure to link it down below for you guys if you're ever interested. That store is the very same store too that I got most of the artwork from that's on my gallery wall right now in my living room. I really hope you enjoyed the tour of my desk slash workstation area. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask below. If you haven't already, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later. Bye.